Santa Rosa, New Mexico on historic Route 66. A way station for travelers and rural oasis that most pass through on their way somewhere else. But not Dr. Randy Brown, whose family roots span centuries. You can imagine that over the ensuing hundred years, uh, I have a lot of relatives in Guadalupe County. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm related to just about everybody on some level. Brown is the chief of staff at Guadalupe County uh, Hospital, a 10-bed facility that's also this East New Mexico County's emergency room and primary care clinic. Oh, yeah. For more than three decades, he's served a community of about 4,500 people. Uh, I've taken care of my friends, my friends' parents, my friends' kids, uh, my family. In the world of rural medicine, he's like a precious metal. And he's been here forever, and he's a trusted doctor. You ask anybody in this town, and you know, and his word is as good as gold. A rare find, a son of the soil who stuck around to shine. But once you get here, you can't leave. These are your people. This is your life. By 2034, the whole country could be short by between 38,000 and as many as 124,000 physicians. And that projected deficit could hit rural America hard. The one in five Americans are rural. Fewer than 10% of doctors practice medicine in small towns. In New Mexico, we average 6.5 primary care physicians per 10,000. The national benchmark is 7.9. Uh, so there's a, a huge gap in there, uh, and that was even a few years ago. And rural hospitals and clinics around the United States, getting new physicians in the door is one challenge. Having them stick around in the building for a career, that's quite another. So here's a little bit of a cough. Yeah. Dr. Timothy Overton. Hey, Izzy, can you take a deep breath for me? is one of Dr. Brown's protégés. If you look at the statistics and the trends in the country, the cities are getting larger and the rural areas are getting smaller, more depopulated and less well served. One of his patients today, the daughter of a nurse who also works at the hospital. So when you gotta call the doctor, you gotta call your friend. Oh, uh, yeah. Or your colleague, really. Or your colleague, your friend, somebody you've grown up with. So Dr. Overton, this particular job in medicine is almost like a vocation. It's taxing. It's taxing, but it's very rewarding. What kind of airway do I have? Uh, in Dr. Brown, the staff have a big gap to fill. He's a legend throughout New Mexico and truly one of the last of a dying breed of physician that can do it all. Along with Administrator Christina Campos, Brown helped build and run the modern Guadalupe County Hospital. We see the patients that we have saved at the grocery store, at church, in the street, at the schools. We also see the families of the patients that we've lost. Medicine is personal business in Santa Rosa. New Mexico has the oldest physician workforce in the U.S., and the leadership duo says finding the right successors is exhausting. It's an ongoing struggle, and we, are, we recruit every day. Rural doctors do everything from delivering babies to mending broken bones. One of the greatest things that's not really talked about so much, but physicians cite all the time, is continuity and being able to have a relationship with their patients. Small communities entice some physicians to stay for a time with college loan forgiveness programs, but Dr. Brown says making a life in the country requires more than just financial incentives. You have to have somebody that has a heart for the community and for the people that they're taking care of. Before he walks out the door, Brown hopes the new generation of doctors will rise above the reluctance of working in rural America. He told me just a couple weeks ago, and it was just me and him here, that not to tell anyone else, but he would work in the emergency department for free. And realize small towns can make for deeper patient connections. John Moe Santa Rosa, New Mexico.